Hey, how you doing? This is Gerardo Flores. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you for stopping by, taking time to check out check out this quick uh, video that I'm shooting for you right now. And uh, the reason I'm shooting this video for you today is because I want to ask you two questions. There's two questions I want to ask you, and I want you to be honest with yourself when you answer these questions. Because if you can answer these two questions that I'm about to ask you honestly, truthfully, being true to yourself, then you can absolutely go very far with your business. It doesn't matter what it is you're doing, whether it's online marketing, network marketing, uh, whether you're a consultant, um, it doesn't matter. Anything you're doing, you can go very far if you can be honest with yourself and answer these two questions as truthfully and as honestly as you can. So take a quick second, check out this uh, presentation that I prepared for you. And uh, once we get through, drop a comment, let me know what you think of it, whether you like it, or whether you think I'm full of shit and wasting your time. It doesn't matter, just drop a comment, let's connect, uh, subscribe to my channel, and let's be friends, okay? We'll talk soon. Alright guys, so here we go. I promised you there was going to be two questions I was going to ask you. So these basically are questions that I believe are very critical for any entrepreneur. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what it is you're doing. It doesn't matter what kind of business you're involved in. You need to know uh, the answer to these questions because if you don't know how to answer these questions honestly, I can tell you that you're probably going to struggle for a very long time. And not because you may not have the skill set, but because you may not have the right mentality, the right psychology, or the right purpose. And uh, as we go through this video, you'll know what exactly what I mean by that statement. <coughs> so first of all, why is it so important uh, that you know the answer to these questions? And um, quite honestly, if you know how to answer these questions, you'll know your true heart's desire first of all. Secondly, you're going to have clarity in life. And thirdly, you'll know your true purpose in life. I hate to be the bad guy and say this, but um, a lot of people go through life not knowing exactly what they want, not knowing exactly what they're aiming for or where they're going in life. They'll take a job, they'll settle, they'll scrape by, and basically go through life without any type of chief aim, you can say. But if you can answer these questions, then you'll know exactly where you're going and how to get there. Okay, so the first question is, what is your chief aim in life? Okay. I know that this may be a little elementary for you guys. I know that um, a lot of you guys out there, this this may be very simple and elementary to you. But this is what I mean by this. By what is your true chief aim in life? What I mean by this is I want you to imagine something. I want you to imagine that you're on your deathbed, okay? You have reached a very old age and your body is basically giving out. And you're basically taking your last breaths, okay? In that very moment, what would be the most important thing for you in that moment? What would matter to you the most at that moment? Would it be all the money that you have made? Your fat bank account? The toys you accumulated? What would matter to you the most at that moment? When you reach that point, did you do everything that you set out to do? 
for your life? Did you reach, did you achieve your chief aim in life? Can you cross over without any regrets that you have done everything in your power to do what you set out for yourself to do? This is deep, guys. What is your true chief aim in life? The second question, are you interested or are you committed to achieving that purpose? Wow. I don't know about you, but this question, when I was, when I was asked this question, I was literally blown back. Because everybody is interested in something better. Everybody's interested in, interested in a better job, a higher income, a bigger house, lots of toys, vacations, or whatever it may be. Everybody is interested in something better. But here's the thing. If you look around, okay, don't take this from me. Just look around in your environment, your surroundings, your relationships, the people you know, you'll notice that about 3% of the population are actually absolutely committed to achieving their purpose. Why do you think that it's only a handful of people that run an entire corporation? It's only a handful of people. Why is that? Do you think they got to that point because they were, they were interested in being in that position? Or because they were committed to being in that position? I don't want to point out the obvious, but I'm thinking that they were probably committed. Okay? Anybody can be interested, but not everybody's committed. And I want you to ask yourself, are you interested or are you committed to achieving your purpose? If you're committed, like I would want you to be, then you probably already have a blueprint, a map, a plan for you to reach that, to accomplish it. And if you don't have that plan already, I want to suggest to you that you start out today. Okay? I know that you probably want to be doing something else. You Maybe you want to watch better YouTube videos right now. You want to flip through your channels on TV. I can understand that. Okay? I've been guilty of that. But if you haven't already written out an absolute plan to achieving your purpose, start today. It only takes a few minutes. Take out a piece of paper and a pen and start writing out your plan to achieving your purpose. If you can do that, if you'll take the time to do that, then you'll know that you're committed. You don't have to prove anything to me. You don't have to prove anything to your spouse or your, your friends, co-workers. You need to prove it to yourself. Because that's the only person that you need to prove yourself to. You can talk to your friends. You, t you can tell them all the plans and, and dreams that you have. But the only person that you need to prove yourself to is you. Now, it's action taking time. Okay? It's one thing to sit through, you know, a quick little presentation 
and shake your head and say, hmm, yeah, that's pretty interesting. But let's do something. Let's do something. Do something today. And you can start out by just uh, writing out your life's mission and followed by your, your definite plan to reach that purpose. Okay? Now, this is my challenge for you, my friends. Write out a mission statement and read it every day to yourself for the next 30 days. If you can do this, if you do this, my friends, if you read your statement every day for 30 days, you're going to notice something. You're going to start, you're going to start to realize that you're going to be making different decisions and different choices. You're going to start thinking differently. You might even notice that you're going to become aware of new ideas. You'll, you'll start making partnerships with people. You'll start to meet people. They're going to help you reach that mission. Why this happens, some people call it the law of attraction. You can call it whatever you want. I personally can't explain it, but it happens. You're going to start seeing life in a new light. You're going to start thinking differently. You're going to have more clarity. So that's going to wrap it up for this presentation, my friends. Thank you very much for stopping by and uh, taking valuable time out of your schedule to view this presentation. Uh, so if you enjoyed what you, what, what, um, what you saw today, please drop a comment. Let me know what you thought of it. And if you like what you see, please share with your friends, uh, share with your connections. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's connect. Uh, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, um, whatever else. Uh, let's connect, let's be friends, and let's do something together. Okay? Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.